hey 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 it's been a while it's been a little too long but we're back with another one it's been a while since we did a modal vlog not too long actually no it has been long because once again i haven't been uploading that much but i'm back on the bitch beat the what the fuck did i just say the beach cruiser i was about to say the bitch cruiser i don't know what that means but we're back on the beach cruiser and i want to show you guys the reason we're back on the beach cruiser but uh until then i'm going to talk about it i'm just i probably could have took that yeah i think i could have took that i hesitated but i got some new brakes on the beach cruiser that's one of the reasons we're on it my old brakes were uh mechanical brakes they are the original brakes that came with this thing and they uh i mean they were decent but they started to get worse once i really put the electric stuff on because not only did the wire constantly become loose um i eventually ran out of padding and i just never got new pads i kept forgetting to ask for some but the main problem i had was the wire kept getting loose and no matter how tight i would make the wire it just kept getting loose it was so annoying so not only did I have pretty much no pads left and then a loose wire that just couldn't be tightened, uh, my, brakes were, my brakes were pretty much non-existent. But once again, like I said, uh, it's been a while. I've been going for a while. Uh, I'd rather not be having my channel this dead. Uh, one of the reasons I've mentioned it in a couple of past videos, but uh, I'm a very frail person, like naturally frail bone, little bone person. Therefore, I'm naturally very, very skinny. So I've been, uh, for the past month, I started February 21st. I've been doing a whole lot of exercise and a whole lot of eating because uh, I'm trying to get my weight up. And with that, it, once again, it takes a whole lot of exercise and then a whole lot of eating. Then you get tired, you end up taking a whole lot of naps. And it's, uh, it's, pretty, con it's pretty time consuming. And then two, besides that, I just haven't really been doing much. So a lot of things, I have been doing I guess it's just I felt personally wasn't really record worthy it, like I said it's honestly the most majority of the stuff I've been doing is just exercising eating napping and just watching videos on my bed or just editing videos and from my other channels but I haven't been doing anything that I could feel I could really upload to this channel there's a car behind me I kind of hate when this car is behind me because this bike isn't really that fast oh yeah speaking of that this damn phone holder sucks it becomes loose a lot so uh, we're not you're probably not going to see the speed all the time but i want to come up here real quick i'm probably not going to bring it all the way up here let's see if i got oh shit it got the torque okay hey hey but um the brakes i have on this just going back to the brakes i was talking about because i want to show you all the brakes it's just the brakes from my project flash i took them off of there because um this brake was just not strong enough at all to to stop the project flash the project flash is like a 175 plus pound bike and these brakes were just not doing a damn thing the only brake that was really actually doing anything was the front brake which was a a motor a small motorcycle pit bike brake so it's far better but um got the handle over here instead of on the left side like i used to i had to completely rip the or cut the original brake cable out because they had it in these little loops that are welded to the frame oh that's rough so i had to cut that out but those are the brakes but yeah like i said i just haven't really been doing much that has been record worthy on the channel the only thing i have been doing that's record worthy the channel and that for some goofy reason i haven't been capitalizing on is We've been chilling outside a lot because the weather right now is great. Like today, it's a little breezier than I thought it'd be. Luckily, it's not as breezy as I thought it was about to be. I don't feel like my side, my, I don't feel like my bike is swerving to the side and about to float from under me. So it's not that windy, luckily, but it is a little breezy. But the days, it's been, it's been very nice weather. Around 70, 75-ish, but it's about to get hot soon. So we've been out here sitting a lot. At first I was riding my mom's motor tech a whole lot because once again this bike's brakes are so trash I didn't want to ride this definitely out of side of my neighborhood with these shitty brakes because I can't stop at a stop sign and if I get hit by a car that's kind of my fault because I should know not to be riding with such shitty brakes where these brakes are fantastic and it's only one brake I wish I had two but 
once again, I also wish I never gave my brother my original copper wheel, gave it to him so he can have some brakes, but I mean, he really could have just welded a brake mount to his frame, but for some reason, when I gave him that idea, he looked at me like I was crazy. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I can't do that. That's not possible. It definitely is, but I guess he was too scared to. So now I have his original front wheel, which has no way to mount a bicycle brake. Therefore, it wouldn't be possible for me to mount, or it would be possible for me to mount a front brake, but it'd be pointless because there's just, there's, there's no actual disc or rotor. So, luckily this one brake is still a very good brake. Watch this. Watch how hard, watch how lovely I can stop. If you look at a past video, I would not be to stop this quickly. Look at that shit. Oh, that's lovely. That is fucking beautiful. I'm gonna go down this road. I better go down this road. I wanna, I wanna go a far route this time around. That's a nice ass bike. I wanna go a far route this uh, round time. What the hell am I saying? I'm, I'm sleepy. I, I just got done with taking a nap. I must still be kind of tired. My brain is not getting the words out correctly. But uh, I want to go a little far. Cause this not only has it been a while since I did a motorbike bike vlog. I'm always kind of doing my same loop. So I got my phone right here. So if I get lost, I, I'll pull out Google Maps half the time I don't even unless I'm doing my usual loop I don't even know where the hell I'll be going I'll just be driving I'm gonna try not to get lost so I don't have to use Google Maps but if I have to use Google Maps we'll use Google Maps so uh, yeah uh, are you letting me go all right fuck it thank you uh, what the hell was I saying yeah just haven't been doing much of shit that's really record worthy but besides sitting outside and riding on these bikes I'm finally getting back on mine, like I said, because I got this new brake, so I'm like, you know what, I'm doing all this driving and shit, I should be recording this, so why not? I honestly don't have anything to record right now. Uh, another thing too, my last, last video I was talking about how I'm having problems with this electric stuff, it's just starting to fail on me. Uh, two of those being my NAND robot and my Project Flash, and then the last video before this one, okay, now the wind is picking up. The last video before this one, uh, I was talking about my Project Flash specifically and how my next project, which was supposed to be electric, is not going to be gas. I was going to start releasing separate parts from that, but I'm like, you know what, honestly, because I'm going gas and things are just far cheaper. It took me eight months to not only build the Project Flash, but to put it on YouTube. So, you know, why not wait that long again? But one thing I also need to mention, because I just remembered, which I've been excited about all day and for the last couple of days just hit 600 subscribers that is still so crazy to me I remember when I first started this channel I was doing those little doo-doo ass vlogs <laughs> I wanted to see how far the channel would get but sometimes it's just still crazy knowing that the channel got this far oh shit I'm in a turn only lane I mean that road right there ends, so I don't know where else I'm going to turn. There's a trail around here. Maybe I'll hit that trail if I remember where to stop. Uh-oh, that's a bit of a wide turn. I thought I was going to hit the rocks. Oh, shit, that's it. Was that the damn trail? I think I just goddamn missed it. That looked like it. Oh, shit, is this? No, this can't be blocked off. A car just came from down here. This shit right here gets real bumpy, though. And there we go. Look at all that damn desert. That shit looks crazy. One thing I definitely will say, it is nice as fuck out here. I just realized, this trail right here, where does this trail lead to? How much bolts am I at? I should be at 53 volts. 50 now. Obviously all this driving we did. But when I started I was at 53. So we got a lot of battery left. Ah, just thinking about it again though. It's, it's crazy how this is really still my last. My last properly working e-bike. I got back on my Project Flash. After that video I got back on it. I charged it up fully. Before I charged it actually. I tried to see what the voltage was at. So I was trying to figure out what voltage did this bike cut off at. And it cut off at 71 volts. So I fully charged it. It was at 84 or 85, however it is, however much it is when it's fully charged. And um, I rolled it 
for a couple of days and never charged it. I never rode it outside my neighborhood, so that's why I didn't get much miles on it. Oh, that's why I was able to ride it for a couple of days without it um, trying to cut off on me again. But yeah, I rode it around and uh, it cut off again at 68 volts. So it doesn't seem like it's cutting off at a consistent 71 like my nano robot is cutting off early at a consistent 52 it just cuts off at any low voltage and if i'm correct the cutoff voltage is supposed to be 60 because if i'm reading it right if i'm even remembering what it was called the lack voltage was i think it was called lack voltage and it was at 60. the max over voltage apparently supposed to be like 88 I'm not 100 sure what those specific things mean. Like I said, I don't know if lag voltage means that it's supposed to cut off at 60 or whatever the lag voltage is, but I'm assuming it was supposed to cut off at 60 volts, yet it's still cutting off about 8 to 11 volts before it ever hits 60. So I'm assuming what that problem is, is definitely, once again, another battery problem. Another battery related problem. I tried to, oh shit, you know what? I just remembered, um, I never looked that up. But I don't really know if I'm ever even going to get results because when it cut off, I was finally able to catch what error it was when it cuts off. And it's error 30H, some sort of communication error. Which, if I'm correct, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what else it could be. It clearly means something is no longer connected. Something that needs to be connected is no longer connected. Which probably, once again, is the battery. <laughs> Seeing that it's a communication error. But if I'm correct, every time I do my Bluetooth thing, where I like plug in my little Bluetooth dongle to change some settings, that says error 30H. So I don't know. I haven't tried to research it yet because I kind of forgot. But where the hell am I right now? But um, oh shit, I just realized. I'm glad I'm starting to realize where I'm at right now because I would have tried to continue to keep rolling. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed this. But at first, I was not quite noticing that this... It's about to have me go downhill, which I'm not going to lie, I'm a, a little interested to drive down there. Is this, was this, is this supposed to be like, if a flash flood ever happens and the water drains itself down here? We're about to try to go down there. See if I can. Oh, we're actually at 51 volts. It just said 50 because we were rolling. So we're still very high on battery. But yeah, so I don't know what to expect if I am to search up error 30H. I'm kind of not expecting to find much results. So you know what? That just reminded me. I'm on these rocks. I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to pop a wheel. But I haven't puffed. Puffed. What am I saying, man? I haven't uh, put air in these tires in a while now. Like quite some time. So I don't know if these are tires are a little deflated or what. But it's kind of hard to look because this GoPro... Uh, like the GoPro is here, obviously. My head is here. So when I look down, the GoPro keeps hitting my chest. It's not allowing me to fully look to look down. Which actually, I keep hitting the GoPro. So let me make sure it's down. Okay, it's it's still down. This looks it's so steep right here. So I'm trying to be careful. I think the closer I get, it might not be as steep as I think. It's just the big rocks. I don't. Want, okay, yeah, it's not as steep as I think. It's getting bumpy. <laughs> Damn, being around all these rocks, it just got hot. Oh, but there's some big rocks. This is the type of shit I want like a little pit bike or a little dirt bike for. I don't know why I say a little pit bike or a little dirt bike as if they're pretty much not the same thing. But, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to f see, figure out if there's like a smoother way to go here because I don't want to risk going down. I mean, that doesn't look too steep. And it shouldn't be too easy to try to get back up. There we go. A rougher texture like I expected. <laughs> Not quite as rough as the rocks though. Damn. Yeah, I'm assuming this has to this had had to been uh, like a some sort of 
water tunnel funnelage. For people who didn't know, I don't remember what year in the 90s, but if I'm correct, my parents said in the 90s, Vegas used to not have any sort of ways to funnel water. Like a lot of the water tunnels you see in any other state or what you see now in Vegas used to not be here because we never had a flood problem. I mean, we're in a desert, so there really was no water like that until somehow one day, forgot what year specifically in the 90s, if I even remember the date correctly, I could have swear they said in the 90s, it was a non-stop rainstorm, heavy rainstorm for a good amount of time, like a, a week or a few weeks or a few days, heavy rain, and that rain collected so much it turned into a flash flood, and that flash flood turned into a flood because once again there was no way to funnel the water, which killed a, a decent amount of people and caused a major flood in Vegas. This is bumpy. If I hear me kind of breathing a little heavy here, so I'm having that thing where I, I, I kind of like a cold, so I always got my window open. Therefore, my nose gets stuffed up, and it seems to be when I talk a lot, the snot tries to find its way out my nose. Therefore, um, start to struggle to breathe. Okay, yep, I'm right. Because now we're about to go into the, there's some tunnels down there. I don't know how far I should be going though because I ain't trying to get lost. This kind of reminds me of uh, another little area me and my brother found a while ago. I wonder can I get up here and go on that road. I don't think this is going to have to torque. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't want to try to speed up there next to it goes back down and I'm falling backwards. You know what? I think I can just go around here. Once again, like I said, if I just get lost, I can just... Google Maps if I see my Google Maps because god damn yes sir this kid is not torquey at all that's the one thing I do not like about this kit I usually always like my speed and shit uh oh wow I might need to be careful around here. Talk about a whole bunch of broken glass. Somebody was having fun breaking some shit out here. I am in the full out desert. Holy shit. Look at all that. So yeah, ever since that flood happened in Vegas though, they created ways to funnel the water. And now that has, hasn't happened since, but I will say one time, uh, about a year ago, there was a heavy storm. Very, very heavy storm. And it used to be one of those water funnel things right behind my neighborhood. So then I would walk out, and if you drive out, I walk out the uh, right way of the neighborhood you would see all of the uh, water that's flowing through and the amount of water I saw was crazy like it was a shit ton of water like a whole lot of water It was kind of crazy and surprising how much water there was. Is that a, a bike trail right there? Ooh, I need to be careful. <laughs> There's a whole lot of rocks. I'm about to get bumpy. Oh, this doesn't last long. Or does it go around? I think it goes around. Oh, it's... A cheap ass sidewalk. Yes, sir. But, um, 
yeah there was a when i looked down those water funnels near my old neighborhood after that storm and if i'm correct this is like a day later the amount of water that was out there was crazy like it was a shit ton of water i'm in the damn dirt now let me get back up in this trail yes sir or this is actually i think this is actually a sidewalk a very shitty sidewalk Oh shit, this ain't lasting very long. It's cutting off on me again. See, this is the problem with this camera. I can't look back that good. Ain't hey, shit back there. <laughs> this camera be hitting my shoulders and shit, so I can't look back that good. Hey, there was a whole lot of water down there, like a whole lot. So. That shit was uh, crazy. I didn't expect to see that much water. And like I said, it was a day later. So, I definitely see where a flood could have happened. A lot of our storms, too, will come from California. I wonder, is this the road I think it is? Did I somehow find my way around this road? Uh-oh. I thought that stick was about to scratch the shit out of me. I should not even get off this road because uh, this is a 45 miles per hour road. Niggas be get behind me honking their horns all angry and shit trying to get around me. Damn, somebody parked their truck way back there. I think this is the road I think it is. Just thinking about it again how this is my only proper working bike. It really sucks. You know too, I, yesterday I just uh, watched in the video of me building the project flash that long ass i didn't watch the full video i just came across it and wanted to watch a little bit of it because i kind of almost forgot how much progress and how long it took me to build that bike <laughs> so watching that video i'm gonna bring back some really good nostalgic times i'm gonna have to cut this video short if my nose can keep bubbling like this Cause I am not about to sit here with snot dripping down my nose, possibly touching my helmet. That's gonna be nasty as hell. But it's like when I start talking, the snot just somehow starts blocking my damn nostrils and I can't breathe. And I'm also wondering, did I get a helmet size a little too small? Cause this helmet is squeezing the hell out of my head and it's starting to hurt a little bit. I can't even lie. This is the, I think it's like the second time I've been down here on one of my bikes. The first time I came down here was the, oh my god, I just, fucking glass everywhere. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to cut that out and be scarred for life. What the hell is that down there? A pile of shit? Just a random pile of dirt. At least I think it's dirt. Somebody, is somebody out here? Is that a damn scooter? Oh, that's a broken down. Scooter. This helmet is starting to hurt. But I'm interested right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, y'all. Did I just find some treasure? For the first time in my goddamn life? Did I just find some treasure? We would rather come all the way down here and dump it instead of just leaving it in front of the house for, I don't know, garbage people to pick it up or somebody else. I'm trying to figure out, is this a, a Honda Ruckus? Like I've told y'all, I've, I've really only worked on one project in my life and it was electric, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to revive this engine. I don't even know what type of scooter this is. I could be completely wrong about this being a ruckus, but I'm curious, is this like thick dirt? How old is this? That is very thin dirt. So that can be wiped down easily. Holy shit. I'm trying to figure out if I could find a name on this thing. Like on the frame somewhere, maybe a number. 
but I'm trying to figure out what the hell it is. I try to look back at that when I get home, do some research. I don't expect that to be here for too long. What's my votes? 49? Probably 50. It's just I got I just got done throttling a little bit, so this showing some low voltage. But I'm gonna try to search up a Honda Ruckus again. I know the newer Honda Ruckus, it's uh, stock rims and all that is black. I don't know if the gas tank is located under the seat like that. Because when I see the GY6 Ruckuses, well actually I could be wrong. It seems like the gas tank will be uh, under like, or it would be under the footboard. But I actually haven't tried to look that up. It's shape kind of seems like it would be a Ruckus. But I would have to look up a Ruckus again to see if that's the actual shape. <laughs> We're about to turn around, so. I'm gonna look back at it again because I'm still starting to realize that it is missing some things and the glass stacks up again. The Ruckus, if I'm correct, had only one spring. The ones I keep seeing, like I said though, they had the original rims were black. Shit, I just realized this has a fucking. And some son of a bitch broke it. I was gonna say, this has a brakes on it and both levers are torn the hell up <laughs> but it had a fork just like this I don't remember if the handlebars were like this just once again there's no words I could read on the frame if there is words I don't know where that would be the only words I see right here but I don't say nothing about a Honda all right well as I think on this let me get back to the house so I can end this shit here because this helmet is going to give me a major headache if I don't get back. This shit is squeezing my head and it kind of hurts. And not kind of it. It actually really hurts. Like I said, I almost feel like I got a wrong side. I am looking down because the sun is in my eyes if I look further up. So if my view's a little low right now, my bad. But the sun in my eyes is not allowing me to see that great. Shit, I'm at 47 volts too, so I'm getting a little low on battery now. Yeah, he's moving fast. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. Did you, did you plan on slowing down? What the hell was that? Or were you just going to come out there? This is, I'm talking about with these dumbass drivers. Because in this situation, I, I would have got fucked up. But if it was another situation where I was driving, the only vehicle I could drive is my own expedition. So you would have got fucked up. People need to pay attention. God damn. I know you might feel this road is always empty, but it's not always empty. The person probably does that a lot. Just turns on the road because it's usually empty. I always gotta stay cautious when you're driving. What car is that? That blue is nice. I don't know why I said the car. I really don't give a shit about the car. It's ugly, but the blue is nice. Oh, you don't see that blue on the uh, cars too much. I did it also feel like that person was not going to stop. My mirrors are fucked up. So somebody's doing some crazy shit behind me. I can't see. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I forgot how long this road was. And here I am on the slow-ass bike. In the left lane. I mean, it's not like traffic's super heavy right now. So they can continue going around me. Another thing I just remember to do when I get back too. Blow my goddamn nose. This nose right now is going crazy. Oh wow, the wind's picking up. I don't need to be going any slower.
forgot how nice it was to drive on this road though. <laughs> he got the green lights on the Jeep, that is sick. I swear though, every time I see here a motorcycle, it reminds me of this next project that I really want to get done. I can't wait to get it done. Oh, I need to be turning. Go, motherfucker. Ah, oh, shit, the sun's in my damn eyes again. Alright, well shit, I think it's about time I enter here, y'all. It has been your boy, Molly. If y'all enjoyed this, go ahead and check out the rest of my videos. I got a lot of mortal vlogs, a couple of unboxings and some more shit. Stay tuned for more. And I'm out. Peace. I thought I'd throw the hand up, but this road got a little rocky, so I don't want to lose control one hand in this. <laughs>